officials for this final. But Shishin Fan, to me, you know, it is almost as if it, this, is, this is my last hurrah, final hurrah, and I'm, I'm really going to throw everything at this. World ranking of number five, and, and, and she has been world number one for so long. She is a tall lady, I've discussed that fact. One metre 78, that's five foot ten. And she, she hasn't had an easy ride all the way through. I mean, she had her problems actually in her second round against the Chiri. She saved three game points in that opening game against the Bulgarian. She defeated in the quarter final the world number one from Hong Kong, Jo Mi. That was a tremendous match for her. She defeated her. 21-15, 21-18, and then of course in the semi-final against Pi Hong Yan of France. Again, very impressive. She seems to have got better and better as the tournament has gone on. Now, her opponent, just 21 years of age, of course she was a bronze medalist in the World Championship two years ago in Kuala Lumpur. So, a uh, big disappointment for her also in the Olympic Games because she lost the bronze medal playoff match. She came off court in floods of tears. But look at her pass through to today's final. All of her matches in two straight games, including a semi-final victory over the number two seed, uh, Wang Lin, her teammate from China. But also you think she's defeated in the quarterfinal the number three seed, Tina Rasmussen from De Denmark, who many people thought having won a couple of Super Series events already this year that Tina Rasmussen may well be the favourite for this title. So we have two players who have come out of Beijing hugely disappointed and they have come back and they have produced the goods at the next major championship. Both of them have been lacking form since the Olympic Games but what character and what courage that both of them have really shown what they're made of coming back in the next major championship after the Olympic Games. All good, wholesome facts and figures, and all coming to the big showdown time. Xi Jinping, well, I remember us covering the World Championships in Madrid in 2006 and being so impressed that such a tall and apparently live girl without an apparent strength of arm or shoulder could be so, so dominant. Her timing of her play is just exquisite, the way she floats around the court, and she ambles around until it's serve time, and then watch out. She is quite dynamic, and her touch from deep to the net is just, well, imperious. Mike Walker's the Canadian umpire, and Wong Mei Peng is the Malaysian service judge. The women's singles here in Kajiboli Stadium, Hyderabad. The World Championship title to be decided right here. Well, Lu Lan, the number seven seed in the black and red kit. Well, if you take their results against each other, they're head to head over the previous year. Well, you've got a favour to the Olympic silver medalist, the number five seed, Zhe Xingfeng, because the two occasions that they've met in the last 12 months, it is this lady, Zhe Xingfeng, who has won on both occasions, including that Olympic semi-final. Last meeting, of course, was at the Asian Badminton Championships in April earlier this year, and Zhe Xingfeng won in two straight games, 21-11, 21-18. I think you were there in Malaysia for that one? Yeah. 2-1. Lu Lan is actually taller than, uh, than I previously thought. She is actually competing with her in terms of, of height, I think, isn't she? In terms of reach Cent and so on. Centimeter difference. Yeah. One, one, one centimeter. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That's going wide. Not a good start for Xi Jinping. Well, she's quoted in the paper as saying that she watched that Lindan semi-final 
and she said she was more nervous than when she played her own semi-final against uh, Pi Hong Yan. She said she was absolutely on edge. Well, if she was watching the final previously, maybe that would account for the fact she's had a slow start. I, I can really relate to that, though, uh, John. I mean, um, a number of people have asked me about, you know, playing in these major championship finals and so on. And once you're out there, once you're into the match, you're so focused into what you're trying to do that you often don't really feel the nerves. Yes, of course, you get nervous beforehand, and you need to be f nervous beforehand because you need to get the adrenaline going. But it's, it's the spectators, it's family and friends who really suffer watching rather than you being out there because you're in control. You know what you're doing, you know what you're trying to do, you're focused into the task in hand, and actually you don't feel the nerves in the same way. So she has had, that is, Xi Jinping has had a roller coaster of emotion watching her boyfriend win an historic third title. She's now got to come out and do exactly the same. She could not have cut herself off from that situation. She has the ability, there's no doubt. Does she have ultimately enough to counter the extraordinary ability of Lulan? I think also perhaps a factor we ought to consider here is, is that Lulan, whether Lulan actually has the belief that she can beat her opponent, because I know that Lulan has so much respect for Xi Jinping. Uh, she looks up to her, she's sought her advice. Uh, you know, I, d I don't know whether she actually has the character to come out here and say, right, you know, I want this title enough. Of course she wants it enough. That's a stupid thing of me to say. Both players want it badly enough. But whether she's got the character to actually deliver and that inner belief, there's a difference between, uh, you know, having confidence and absolute belief. It's not hoping I can win. You have to know you can win. And that knowing, certainly for me when I was a player, Knowing that I'd beaten them, an opponent previously or beaten them recently was a huge factor in the inner belief that I was going to do it on the day. Seven, four. Seven, four. Do you think the fact that they uh, came from the same town, Guang, uh, actually no, Guangzhou is Xi Jinping and of course the Asian Games are going to be held there next year. I'm, I made a mistake there, it's Jiangsu, uh, in Jiangsu province from Lulan, so they were from different parts of the world, but they, they end up in Beijing, and of course Xi Jinping probably was the heroine of Lulan at some stage in her life. Yeah, absolutely, and, th and that's, that's the point I'm trying to make, because I'm, I'm not sure whether, because she's got so much respect for her opponent, whether she's really going to have the inner belief and killer instinct to actually close this out. For, uh, for her fans and, and, you know, I hope I'm proved wrong, but, you know, it remains to be seen. That's the intrigue of this final. The disappointment of the Olympics way behind her now. It was, uh, in fact, I've got a feeling it was a year today, wasn't it, that it was all resolved? It's certainly uh, either a year today or tomorrow that um, the badminton finals were coming to a head. The anniversary comes round. Xi Jinping can certainly make a huge, huge dent in the bitterness of that memory from Beijing. 6-8. Well, very interesting body language and reaction to winning that rally from Lulan. And that, that's a good sign. She, she was really pleased with herself that she'd won the rally, even though it was uh, an error from Xi Jinping. Uh, it's just wide. Service over. Lu Lan has the lead, but she really is under still significant pressure. Xi Jinping just can pounce and come up with some extraordinary...
extraordinary shots. It's good placement as well as power, wasn't it? Yeah, very good. Left hip, you keep telling me. 10-7 in the first. Lulan. Oh, what a backhand. It is Taufik esque Yeah, very, very clever smash to finish off the rally. That's two consecutive rallies that she's finished with a smash to the body of Xi Jinping. They go to the break, the interval at 11-7. And Xi Jinping started slowly. She built up a head of steam in the middle of that, uh, those uh, exchanges, but has come to the half. And she is struggling to make an impact. She's putting some court clears, but I think she's very wary of Lulan's speed and ability at the net. She's putting a lot of clears in, which suggests that she's a little worried about that. But above all, she has got resolve and determination and she's got time to recover. 11-7, play. Oh, well, the error from Jujin Funk and certainly she's not producing the goods with her overhead shots so far in the final I'm looking at the match statistics and Lu Lan has hit seven smash winners Xi Jinping none well that is a huge surprise and disappointment it's her strength normally this department of her game particularly from the base is what she relies on bit more aggression her first winning smash in the final here you'll say not before time but once she gets in the mood and the habit and she achieves a couple of winners watch out you know just before this final started we, we were talking about um, you know, the disappointment of the Olympic Nine Games and the fact that they haven't been really showing form in tournament play. I'm looking at their tournament's uh, success uh, and believe it or not, it is nearly, well, it's over 22 months ago that Lu Lan won her last title and it's over 13 months ago that Xi Qingfeng won a title. So we have two players in the final here who have saved their best for the World Championships. And I talked earlier on in the tournament about the habit of winning and how important it is sometimes. And of course, for neither player, they're not in the habit of winning. So the, the psychology of this final for both players to put aside disappointment of Olympic Games for both of them. They were both bitterly disappointed. One wanted the gold medal, the other missed the bronze medal playoff match. Y this, this is absolutely crucial for Lou Lam, who's lost all England finals, lost that bronze medal uh, playoff match. This is crucial for her future. She's only 21. She needs to win this. Well, she destroyed Rasmus in 15 and 13 in the quarters, and that was just... Well, nobody expected that. It was no. sort of much tighter. 10-13. Yeah, good aggression from Lulan. Look at that 
determination. Not often I've seen that with Lou Lan, I have to say. No, it's going wide. Touch the net, touch the tape on its way over, and it's 11-14. Look at the points. Lou Lam has probably put some more spectacular running and shot finishing together, but Xi Jinping will not go away. I can tell you that. She is such a niggling annoyance. She's like a thorn in the side of any opponent. And now at 12.14, be careful. 12, yeah, Lou Lam going for a very acute angle and I think she realises that unless she plays the perfect shot it's not going to be a winner against Xi Jinping because Xi Jinping covers the court so well not leaving herself margin for error watch out now Xi Jinping is in a position to attack ah. service over 15, 12. Yeah, uh, that's the danger of lifting cross court from the backhand side you do leave a big gap for the smash straight down the line I think that's a specialist shot I think that's her claim to fame shot it, she just does it so so regularly Lou Lan should be warned she must know that that's the strength oh that's a careless return of serve no need for that error you think she's creating her own pressure? Very much so, but that, that's, that's part of the fact that she knows her opponent is so good. You know, uh, sometimes I remember when I was playing, you know, you, you say to yourself, you have to hit the lines, I've got to play the perfect net shot, because if I don't, it's just going to be eaten up by my opponent. And you've got to have the mental discipline to say, no, I'm not doing that, I'm going to hit six inches inside the line but it's it's easier said than done it's terribly difficult in the heat of the moment in the heat of the rally because you're so desperate to finish it off and make that winner that you do start going for the net cords you do start going for the lines it's 15 16 and Xi Feng is definitely in the mood to take this first one That is why... Surely the umpire hasn't called a fault, has he? No, 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 I don't think so. No, he's put, no. The, no, he's put the score up himself on the board at 16. Yeah. The, the shuttle caught the net tape, actually. It sounded like it. Yeah, I'd, I'm sure I heard something, and that's why I was so astonished, because yeah. I didn't think she was anywhere near the net. No, she wasn't. And now look at the turnaround here. Yeah. We've, we've seen it so many times. We've worked together on World Championships, and we know how good this girl is at sticking in and working out how to win. It's 17-16. She's in fun. After being behind for most of this game. No. That is stunning. Uh, it's a super net shot. But it was the anticipation. Look, she's so early onto the shuffle. Well, we were criticising her just a moment ago for trying to make the net shots too tight. That one was very tight as well. Bottom line is, it was absolutely brilliant. 17 all. This is really another great matchup, China, China. 
Xi Jinping is bouncing. She is bouncing a little bit, but bouncing too far. And that one out deep at the forehand court, which means that Lulan has 18-17 and creeping towards conclusion of this first game. Uh, that's well left. Good judgment. 18 all. Right next to us, we've got our um, RTM Malaysian commentator. And I hear he's saying, Kalwa, that's out. Chantik, that's beautiful. It's really quite amusing for me to listen to him. It's great piece of my heritage in Malaysia and Singapore, of course. Oh, my word. Fabulous. The execution of the deception there, just extraordinary. It's not often that you see Chi Jingfeng left stranded, but she was on that occasion. Caught the cutaway there of uh, Pai San, the deputy director of the BWF, and, of course, the organizer of this particular event, D.K. Verma. They've got a big smile on their face because they're seeing some excellent play in this final day of competition. 19 all. Come on, Perfect Jill. smash <laughs> once again. It's interesting to me how much these two players are using the body smash in singles. So often we're used to seeing the smashes going down uh, the side of the court. But both using the, the body smash, great effect. Oh, that's a good net shot. That's short. Yeah. It's game point. Lulan, she has been very, very positive. One or two errors. But generally speaking, she is one, one that is trying to dictate the pace. The skill of Xi Jinping is always there as a danger. But at 2019, game point Lulan. It's out. Oh. She needed a little patience there. Yeah, I wonder. I made the question earlier. Does she have the belief to actually close it out? Does she have that killer instinct? I think your answer may be right there, Jill. Xi Jinping knows how to win knows what it takes and outside the cauldron of Beijing she has got things I think under control here first game point for her Xi Jinping that is an amazing pickup that is an extraordinary pickup Lulan can you believe that uh, it's absolutely terrific. But I haven't seen this sort of commitment from Xi Jinping within the rallies for such a long time, not since that Olympic final. And isn't it a joy to watch? It certainly is. 21 all, first game. It's short for the second time. It is Lu Lan with the chance to take the first game. Got it! In the end, it was a very, very brave performance here. And I must say, she was deserving of it. But the First most important, one impressive one thing from my perspective is Xi Jinping, although she lost it, she is very, co very competitive. And I think she's still got a lot to say about the destiny of this World Championship title.
Thomas Lund on the right of screen, who Gio was referring to earlier as probably one of the greatest exponents of the game. Of, uh, well, certainly in the doubles. And uh, he is now the COO of the BWF. And after all the trials and tribulations that we've experienced here, I think they can be fairly happy that it's coming to a, a successful conclusion. Second game then, Lulan with the serve, having taken the first and the first error on the play by Xi Jinping. It's one love, Lulan. That's a terrific angle. Well, so often Lou Lan has fallen just one match shy of the big, big win. I wonder if this could be her day. Dijin Fang has this extraordinary feel about her as she wanders around the court almost aimlessly, it's certainly nonchalantly. And then she suddenly fires, it's like light the blue touch paper and watch the explosion. Quite amazing, but that's great work from Lulan for 3-1. Yeah, I have to say that she's been more aggressive so far in this final, has, has wanted to take the rallies to her opponent. She has hit so many more smash winners than that's that's wide of the mark but China's dominance in this women's singles really is extraordinary this is the 11th time in 15 world championships that it's been an all China women's singles contest and unbelievably since China came into the International Badminton Federation fold and now of course called BWF Badminton World Federation they missed the first two world championships, of course, China, not part of the system then. But since then, only twice has China not taken the women's singles title. That's an extraordinary record. Guaranteed gold, of course, again today. That's long. It is out, and it's 5-3. And Lu Lan continues with trying to persuade us all that she believes she can win this. Yeah, that's a lovely net shot from Xi Jinping. Better than lovely, that is perfection. Unbelievable, that. And there wasn't much from her, just a little suggestion of a clenched fist. 3 5. It's going to need a lot more effort yet. Her last, supposedly, reportedly, her last world championships. That is just long. It's 6 3. Having lost the first game, don't forget, 23 21. A tight and very, very well contested first game, but it's now 6 3 Lu Lan doing the business. Oh, my word! What a glorious shot! Slicing across the feathers, making the shuttle spin ferociously and that extra spin makes the shuttle die so much quicker and that's where the player can get the extra angle on the shot so it's not only the deception oh that's landed in misjudgment from the former world champion at 8-3 this is Luland's Big, big moment. If she can push on to the interval, there would no one would bet against her. Oh, 
Yeah. Terrific. The only person, obviously, that can really affect the outcome. Lulan herself has been very positive, playing an excellent match. But when you get that kind of shot, there wasn't even an attempt to go for it. That's the extraordinary thing. It wasn't just the, the placement of the shot itself. It's the, the, the fact that it, Lulan had no idea where it was going. Just wide, that's 5 8. She's enjoyed a lot of success with that slice across court, has Lulan, but on that occasion just finding the net. But it's really allowing Chishing Fung back into this second game. Just two points the deficit now. was 3-8 and I said or 8-3 and I said if she pushes on then to go to the break she has a real good chance of the title now surely the doubts will start creeping in at a 7-8 four in a row there for the world champion former world champion wow what a turnaround That's gone. Relief that the momentum has been temporarily suspended, maybe. Lulan has played a super match so far, but Xi Jinping will not go away. Running rally, but it's out. It's 9 all. Mm -hmm. Lulan just rests on her racket. Now, are we seeing a change? Well, she's appealing to the umpire to overrule the line judge. And that was right under the umpire's nose, that call. And I have to say, I thought the line judge made the correct decision. I did think it was wide. Definitely, definitely. Well, you know how good my eyes are, but uh, hey, I'll support that call. No. <laughs> 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 a little celebration at 10-9, but, well, I must say, Xi Jinping, although, again, we see her going on a little walkabout, slouching, shoulders down, suddenly, she'll be back and fighting. That's gone. That's 11-9. Lulan does go to the interval in the second, in the lead. And Xi Jinping, although it's very difficult to read her, I must say, Jill, you, you know, you've been watching her for many, many years now. And uh, she is a girl that really does not wear much on her sleeve. And she does look, you know, as if she's bored with life. But, you know, when she's playing and when she's absolutely in the midst of the rally. She's a totally different girl. Prediction? Oh, it's so difficult to call. It really is. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Well, I have to say, like the women's doubles, I'm hoping for a third and deciding game. I'd love to see this go the full distance. 
11-9, Lu Lam. 11-9, Clay. No, that's well wide. Well, it wasn't nine. even close. I mean, there was nothing about that shot that would give you any confidence that Xi Jinping could come back into this. 12-9. She, she is being abused here with some fantastic play from Lu Lan. She's been dragged into the net, forced back, and then ultimately aimed at with a cannon from deep. 13-9. Yeah, how many winning smashes have we seen directed straight at Xi Jinping? And that lift, that's another 14, unforced error. Nine. And I think that Lu Lan, who last October became the world number one, despite not winning a tournament for over 12 months, quite how that happened, I'm not quite sure, <laughs> but she was world number one. There's a heck of a difference, though. I'm, I've been lucky enough to be world number one in the doubles and in the mixed doubles as well, but the world title is what you really desire. Being called world champion, certainly for me, was, and unfortunately, my all my medals from the world championships uh, were... Were not golden. Were not golden, no. Well. no. But, but this is this is the one. This this could really define her career, Lulan, and set her off on on inner confidence. And the way she's playing right now, it was nine all a moment ago, seven straight points. She's a player on a mission. Super rally. Oh, yeah. Absolutely super. Yeah, and the way that Lu Lan stepped forward, lunged forward, huge effort to try and take that shuttle as early as possible to play the next shot. That was superb. Now it's eight straight points. 79, where, uh, well, we're witnessing, and we've got right in shot there, surely the world champion in 2009. That's way out. Oh, my goodness. Xi Jinping has been lost. She's a lost soul. She never has given me confidence in the way that she wanders around the court. I've said it many times. But right now, I can tell you, her shoulders have dropped. And Chayo Chayo is the call. But who is it for? Lu Lan. More oil, more fire. I think it's for Xi Jinping, to be quite honest. But it's all too little, too late. It's 10-18. Well, Jill, you say you've never actually achieved the success of a gold medal at the World Championships, but let me tell you, sitting next to me here, you've got my gold medal. I will put it around your neck. You've got the gold medal for commentary. It's fantastic. Seven so over. Nineteen ten. Well, the closeness of this, Lulan, has got to put out of her mind all the doubts that people like I had about whether she had the character to close out and really win the big one are being answered right now. She's just two points away from the title. Now just the one. Well, what a disappointing end to what was a fantastic first game. Look at that, 23-21. We were looking for a real fight here from Xi Jinping. And what we've seen is disinterest, ultimately. Yes, there's been an element of a fight, but look at this, 11-20, championship, world championship points to Lu Lan, her opponent. How on earth can she hope to play this, or however many, rallies and think that she's got a chance 
it ain't going to happen. It's just wide there. It's 12 20. 12 20. That missed by a fraction. Eight world championship points, Lulan. Let's go. Going out. Look at us celebrate. It's a fine, fine victory. World champion, Lulan. How does that sound? in Jansol. That is fantastic. Great achievement. She's in fun. We've spoken a lot about her, but I'm afraid she is a shadow of her former self in terms of her absolute ability and conviction on the court. We saw some sparkling moments, but I'm afraid they were all too few. The determination of Lulan was too much in the end for she's in fun. Lulan champion. Uh, Slu Lan, I think, really deserved the title today because she was far more positive than the former champion. You used the word disinterested. You know, I'm not sure that she was disinterested. I, I think that she hasn't got the, the, the inner spirit uh, that is necessary. When, when the going gets tough, you know, the expression, the tough get going and so on. But I can tell you, you know, when you get towards the end of your career, sometimes it is desperately difficult. You, determination alone is not enough. You have to have that inner spirit as well. And that was missing today from Xie Jingfeng. But for Lu Lan, I said it could be a career-defining moment. I think that she could go from strength to strength. And it's sadly... I think that having lost the Beijing Olympic final and now the World Championship final, I think that psychologically could destroy. Now witnessing a parade of the red flag with just those stars of the Chinese as well. The three of them, but that is also mixed with the tricolor of France as well because... Although we're just seeing the final moments of this match, highlights of the, uh, the women's singles final, it really gives me enormous pleasure to be able to tell you. I can only see three girls coming out here, one of whom, okay, we've got our, on our highlights on our screen, but I'm aware that uh, maybe the young lady that we expected to see, Wang Lin, is not there. She's probably gone already to Macau. And she would have been accompanying, I'm sure, Chen Jin, who's already got the gold medal, the silver medal around his neck. Right, here we go. We've got three players here who have had a wonderful world championship. And one of them, Pi Hong Yan, has never been in a world championship semi-final before. In the end, she was a little disappointed with her own performance. Her first game, she was very happy with. It went to 21-18 against Xi Jinping. Her second game, she was very disappointed with. But you cannot deny that when this World Championship comes to Paris next year, she'll be right in the thick of all the action. Pi Hong Yan, great smile, wonderful personality, fantastic competitor. Great to see her there. Of course, I've just mentioned her name. The other bronze medalist, Wang Lin, not able to be here for the presentation. But uh, the, uh, the team that we see at the presentation Dias at the moment and uh, Mr. Reddy of course is there with uh, Mrs. Aruna Sharma Dodashan Mr. Reddy the sports minister the government of Andhra Pradesh put on this great show here for us and Xi Jinping, it'll be difficult for her. She's been at the top of the tree for so long. But she, look at that, that's lovely. Just showing her medal, her silver medal off to 
the army of photographers there in front of her. That is a supreme moment in anyone's life. And the fact that we had China v China again, some people will say, well, it's boring. No, it's not. It's not boring when you can raise your hands as the world champion. Look at that. It means so much to her, to her family, to all the people that's helped her to achieve that status of world champion. Lu Lan has put in a huge effort and is now crowned world champion. And who will deny? Thoroughly deserved it. Maybe the sweat coming from...